The Alps, one of Europe's great mountain ranges, covered year-round in ice that formed over a hundred million years ago. At an elevation of 1,800 meters, the village of Sasfi has long been a popular tourist destination, summer and winter alike. But climate change is having an impact on the mountain landscape. Thomas Wirth of the WWF Environmental Organization is monitoring the effect. Climate change in the mountains will be twice as severe as the global average. And that means that the ecosystem, the natural environment and the people who live here will really feel the effect. 3,500 meters above sea level. As part of a study on climate change, local residents are being interviewed about what they've seen. So are experts like Benedikt Schneider. He's a glaciologist. He studies glaciers. He came up with the idea of drilling a tunnel so that visitors can get a look at a glacier's interior. He's also hoping to preserve an important part of Swiss culture. This depicts a procession of the dead. The dead, wearing their robes, walk through the street at night, through the villages. Then they go up into the mountains and do penance for their sins. But his main aim is to help protect the glaciers from the effects of climate change. Benedikt Schneider is monitoring the glaciers. In Switzerland, information is collected regularly on 120 of them. The measurements show that the glaciers are melting and breaking up. New snowfall can no longer keep pace. Since 1985-87, all of the glaciers registered in the network have shrunk. One year it was about 4%. That was in the hot summer of 2003 when the Swiss glaciers lost 4 to 5% of their mass, for example. There's not much the people who live here can do to help. These tarpaulins can help slow the melting. But the material is expensive, so only a few areas are protected, mainly places crucial to the safety of skiers. Since tourism is a major source of income, monitoring and protecting the glaciers is also an economic necessity. Back at the lower elevation, the glacier that was once here is gone. The landscape here is adapting to the change. This is typical of what we call a glacier foreland with the pioneer species of trees. This is how the forest develops after a glacier retreats or after an avalanche or other catastrophe. You can see the large trees and birch and a bit further back there we have a spruce. As temperatures continue to rise, plant growth is moving its way up the mountainside. Now trees are growing in places where they wouldn't have grown before. But at the same time, there's less rain. In future, it's going to be much drier here, especially at the lower elevations in the valleys. And that might mean that some species of trees and plants will die out here due to lack of water. The new Monte Rosa Lodge is located well above the tree line. Designed by the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, it opened in 2010, not far from the Matterhorn. With its environmentally friendly and energy efficient construction, the lodge is a model for the ecotourism of the future. Solar panels for warm water are installed on the cliffside. The facade is covered in photovoltaic panels for electricity. The lodge manager is responsible for the entire operation, meals, logistics and supervising the solar installation. These are our batteries. The batteries store the solar energy. But there's a problem. The photovoltaic system isn't supplying enough electricity, as the computer display shows. That means it's time to start up the cogeneration unit, which runs on rapeseed oil, a form of biofuel. 
lifts and uplifts. Right now, the cogeneration unit is still running 10 hours a day. Nearly 10,000 guests stay here each year. Far more than the wastewater and energy systems were designed to support. Some extra solar panels will be installed soon to help cope with demand. The lodge gets financial support from My Climate, an initiative founded in Switzerland. But it's likely it will continue to depend on subsidies beyond what it takes in. Still, tourism in the Alps has taken another step towards sustainability. Without these new ideas, what took millions of years to create might be lost.